welcome to another Peter Pig video. This time we're showing you gabions. These are resin pieces. There's two pieces in the range. One is a straight line of gabions, like that. There's the rear of it. And the other one is like a little gun emplacement. There it is. These are solid resin items. They will fit next to each other, that sort of formation, so you can make all sorts of earthworks. Typically that'd be used in um, English Civil War, American Civil War, those sort of conflicts. Now, the way these are done is with a dark brown undercoat, quick dry brush, and then a little bit of an ink wash. Once again, they didn't take long to do, about 10 minutes the pair. Now the idea is with these is that they're the proper height for 15mm figures. There's some 15mm figures on them. If I hold it like that, there's some 15mm figures with the bases flush at the back, so they're quite high. There we go. You could use it with 20mm, but these are far too small for the 25mm, that sort of thing. Now, the idea with gabions in real life, they're wicker baskets, and once the wicker's all built up, they're filled with dirt. That's basically how they work. You'll see a lot of these on American War of Independence battlefields and sieges. American Civil War siege and battlefields, English Civil War siege and battlefields. Uh, gabions could be any size in real life. These particular ones would be about six foot high. And as you can see, there's a little bit of soil in front of them, but the back, they're flush to the ground. So the figures stand there, and you push them right up against them. They're two separate resin codes. The gun emplacement will hold a four by four base, four centimeters by four centimeters, and they're slightly lower in the middle for the gun to look over. As you see, they're slightly irregular because the gabions would tend to get knocked around a little bit. These gabions here, once again, slightly irregular in the height, but they're well detailed and they look good on the war games table. That's gabions. Thank you.